At least 40 world leaders met on Thursday for a virtual leaders' summit on climate change. Among them was Prime Minister Andrew Holness. Marlon Samuels tells us more. The world leaders spoke of the need for definitive action to tackle the global challenge of climate change. Mother Nature is not waiting. The past decade was the hottest on record. Dangerous greenhouse gases are at levels not seen in 3 million years. Global temperature has already risen 1.2 degrees Celsius, racing towards the threshold of catastrophe. Meanwhile, we see ever-rising sea levels, scorching temperatures, devastating tropical cyclones and epic wildfires. We need a green planet, but the world is on red alert. We are at the verge of the abyss. We must make sure the next step is in the right direction. We need urgent access to COVID-19 vaccines, which should be prioritized based on vulnerability. We need immediate action to cut greenhouse gas emissions, a program of debt forgiveness and debt rescheduling, concessional financing that takes account of vulnerabilities, and funding to compensate for damage to help to reconstruct our economies, and funding to acquire decarbonized technologies to assist in building resilience. The world committed to $100 billion per year to support climate action in developing countries. It is critical that this commitment not only be honored, but that the ambition be increased and major emitters should contribute more to its financing. We welcome President Biden's announcement in this regard. I encourage all governments to play their part in achieving this goal, and the private sector must also be engaged. While increasing the quantum of financing is necessary, it will not be sufficient to address the needs of small island developing states unless it is accessible and flexible enough to target support for our vulnerabilities. The summit is set to conclude on Friday, April 23, and is being hosted by the United States President, Joseph Biden. No nation can solve this crisis on our own, as I know you all fully understand. All of us, all of us, and particularly those of us who represent the world's largest economies, we have to step up. You know, those that do take action and make bold investments in their people and clean energy future will win the good jobs of tomorrow and make their economies more resilient and more competitive. So let's run that race, win more, win more sustainable future than we have now, overcome the existential crisis of our times. We know just how critically important that is. Because scientists tell us that this is the decisive decade. This is the decade we must make decisions that will avoid the worst consequences of the climate crisis. The invitees include those countries that have demonstrated strong climate change leadership. It says the summit is a key milestone preceding the United Nations UN Climate Change Conference, COP26, this November in Glasgow. For the news on PBCJ, I am Marlon Samuels.